go to plugins we add new we search for iThemes iThemes security formally better WP security right so there are a lot of themes one is world fans and there are so many but I am personally uh, very much comfortable with this one because like I said it's it's fully tested and I never had a single complaint in these five to six years so I'll just install it activate it and it's time to set things up to make them as secure as possible so by default it will have a security check I need to enable this and I will secure site and it will say your site supports SSL secured socket layer and I need to enable this option so everything on my website is visible through a security layer and then your email your default email address will be there which you use as WordPress installation or WordPress admin since I'm using this one, so it will activate. Right, see all those nice settings. By default, even before me going through a lot of options manually, they have uh, secured my website to the best. Close. So security check is done. Now I'll go to global settings. Allow I seem secure to write to WP config HP and dot HD access. Okay, so the options I need to enable or nothing in there, right? So global settings are okay. I'm okay with them. No need to do anything. I'll go to notification center and security digest and site lockouts right so if there are some bots trying to log into your website with random access and they get logged out you will be notified since uh, i don't want unnecessary emails i'll just disable them and save my settings okay so three done user groups i don't need to do anything in them for a 4 detection I will enable this option 404 is basically if someone is trying to find some pages or going through your directory to exploit right so if that directory doesn't exist that person or robot will be blocked so we save this away mode we don't need to do anything with this because if it's your website and you are obviously updating it and having um, proper monitoring on this so you don't need to enable this option band users right so this is the most important feature default ban lists hackrepairs.com has created a list and they keep it updated with latest viruses and a list which should be banned with IPs and host names so we need to use them for free save settings database backup if you want a uh, scheduled backup in your email you need to enable this option and select the interval so I uh, will get my database backup after three days every three days so it's, it's essential it's very necessary uh, if you want to you know test different plugins on your website and some of them breaks your website so you can simply restore your database file change detection learn more enable Personally, I, I don't use this because it's uh, if, if you're using some other third party plugins like CDNs or stuff like that. So they they would somehow change your website uh, contents or clone them to their directories to deliver it faster. Uh, it, it's a bit tricky for now. So I'll create another tutorial for that. For now, I'll just disable it because I don't want unnecessary email notifications. File permissions. I don't need that 
local brute force protection right so it's enabled by default but i will say maximum login attempts per host or per user are three and three sorry and minutes to remember right so the, this is the option i love the most automatically ban admin user so if somehow anyone gets through your login access address which is slash wp dash admin by default and he tries to log in with the user admin he will be banned automatically right so we save this network brute force protection it's there they gave us an api key by default when in the stat we made this security check so we don't need to do anything now pass password requirements right so if you want your users to have a stronger password let's say it's it's an e-commerce website and people are creating accounts on your website while checkout or while registering so they need to have a, a very strong password since i don't i'm not using this i don't want this i'll just disable ssl secure socket right my website is having ssl and it enabled in the start again when we went to security check it enabled for me system tweaks we need to enable them and please pay attention these are the options which you need to enable system files protect system file directory browsing disable request methods filter request methods suspicious query strings filter it right so i am checking first four options and i am not checking anything else all right next three are okay i will also check last three options uh, because php is basically wordpress is built on php right so anyone can exploit anyone can play with their scripts trying to hack my website so to make it as secure as possible i'll disable php in these three fields uploads folder plugins folder and themes folder so again i checked four options system file directory browsing request method suspicious query and then i didn't check non-english characters long url strings file permissions and then i enabled php in uploads php in plugins and php in themes so it's save wordpress salt keys let's get back to this option after securing our site more wordpress tweaks right so again these are some advanced settings if you are not fami familiar with them don't worry just follow the steps i'm going to do windows live writer header remove edit uri header remove comment spam reduce comments some spam yes and then xml rpc right so just disable it and go down go down keep scrolling keep scrolling right nothing else just hit save after that scroll up we have this advanced settings so if you want to hide your backend which i strongly suggest that you do you need to enable this option see so by default your website login url is wp dash admin we can change it to i like to use back office so my login url will be my website.com slash back office and i hit save right it's active now save settings and then security check pro i need to enable it as well it's not now like i said we will get back to salt keys option so we click recommended and go there so uh, by default wordpress is using some security keys so once we have done all these settings to secure our website we need to update those keys as well so just check this save settings and it will ask us to log in again 
I'll do that. Right. So, congratulations. <laughs>